Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with the song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. The Psalms for the 16th day morning prayer begin with Psalm 79 on page 701 of the Book of Common Prayer. O God, the heathen have come into your inheritance. They have profaned your holy temple. They have made Jerusalem a heap of rubble. They have given the bodies of your servants as food for the birds of the air and the flesh of your faithful ones to the beasts of the field. They have shed their blood like water on every side of Jerusalem, and there was no one to bury them. We have become a reproach to our neighbors, an object of scorn and derision to those around us. How long will you be angry, O Lord? Will your fury blaze like fire forever? Pour out your wrath upon the heathen who have not known you, and upon the kingdoms that have not called upon your name. For they have devoured Jacob and made his dwelling a ruin. Remember not our past sins. Let your compassion be swift to meet us, for we have been brought very low. Help us, O God our Savior, for the glory of your name. Deliver us and forgive us our sins for your name's sake. Why should the heathen say, Where is their God? Let it be known among the heathen and in our sight that you avenge the shedding of your servant's blood. Let the sorrowful sighing of the prisoners come before you, and by your great might spare those who are condemned to die. May the revilings with which they revile you, O Lord, be turned sevenfold into their bosoms. For we are your people and the sheep of your pasture. We will give you thanks forever and show forth your praise from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John, beginning with chapter 4, verse 27. As Jesus was talking to the woman at the well, his disciples came. They marveled that he was talking with the woman but none said, What do you wish? Or, Why are you talking with her? So the woman left her water jar and went away into the city and said to the people, Come, see a man who told me all that I ever did. Can this be the Christ? They went out of the city and were coming to him. Meanwhile, the disciples besought him, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have food to eat of which you do not know. So the disciples said to one another, Has anyone brought him food? Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work. Do you not say, There are yet four months, then comes the harvest? I tell you, lift up your eyes and see how the fields are already white with harvest. He who reaps receives wages and gathers fruit for eternal life so the sower and the reaper may rejoice together. For here the saying holds true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap that for which you did not labor. Others have labored, and you have entered into their labor. Many Samaritans from the city believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days and many more believed because of his word. They said to the woman, It is no longer because of your words that we believe, for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this indeed is the Savior of the world. Here ends the reading.
Canticle 20, page 94 of the Book of Common Prayer. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us affirm our faith in saying the Apostles' Creed, page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I invite your prayers or thanksgivings, either silently or aloud. For Brady, for Holly, for Ashton, for Sam. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen.